And, and welcome to the Day of Caring. Uh, this is our second annual event. We started last year and we've more than doubled the size of it this year thanks to you and all the project sites and our, uh, and our sponsors, which is Aurora Healthcare, United Way, and uh, yeah, and American Orthodontics. This event is put on primarily by the Volunteer Center of Sheboygan and uh, we, we are a program under the direction of the Partners for Community Development. Uh, Lucio Fuentes here is the, is the head chief of the Partners for Community Development and it's an honor to work with him. <laughs> Just a bunch of housekeeping. I hope everybody's found their table that uh, designates the project they'll be working on today. Most of the tables have the, a team member from the uh, project site that can give you any special uh, directions and, and uh, answer any questions you may have. Um, there's, there's food and water here, so please help yourself before you take off. You might need it for extra energy during the day. Box lunches will be delivered at um, around noon, so look out for those. And um, what, else could, what else did I forget to say? Volunteers are wonderful. Well, volunteers are wonderful, thank you, thank you. So uh, right now uh, we've asked the mayor to say a few words. He and his wife, uh, uh, Sue, will be working out at the Girl Scout uh, project this morning and uh, we really feel honored to have you here Terry so morning everyone you know this is great to many times Sue and I get to work with uh, volunteers with organizations whether it's fraternal organizations the Lions Clubs Optimists those type of groups uh, Habitat for Humanity but this is really what Sheboygan's all about people caring about each other, caring about our community, helping out each other, and taking a day on a beautiful day like today, taking your time and being willing to help the community and help others with whatever we're gonna do. As you can see, I'm in my paint clothes, so I'm gonna be out painting at the Girl Scout house. Uh, my wife, Sue, used to think I was a painter. She owns a painting company, so she, she uh, she used to take me along and make believe that I knew what I was doing in, in painting. Um, but sh it's going to be exciting. Thank you for all being here today. And again, this is what Sheboygan's all about, caring for each other, helping each other out. Have a great day today, and let's get out there and get to work. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, sir. One, one, final thing, and one final thing to say, and then you can take off and have fun for the rest of the day, is at 3 o'clock this afternoon, we start having a, a lot of fun here at the park, serving beer and refreshments, a pig roast. We're going to have music, entertainment, raffles, silent auctions, and I'm sure we'll, after, by the end of the evening, we'll have a few people dawdling out by the lake. So anyway, have a good time, and thank you for coming and volunteering. You're all great. Hi, this is Nanette Bullabash from WSCS. I'm so delighted to be here on the second annual Day of Caring. I am with the two people who are making, two among many, but two chief people who have put all this together. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Jose? Yes, I'm Jose Araujo. I'm Program Director at Partners for Community Development. Partners is the or, uh, organization in, uh, that it's the umbrella organization for the Volunteer Center of Sheboygan County. Okay, and Scott? And my name is Scott Johnston. I'm the program director for the Volunteer Center. And I work kind of ham and egg it with uh, Jose. Yeah. This is put together with a lot of effort, a lot of hours, and this is the second annual one. So before we go any further, tell me what is the purpose of the Day of Caring? Well, Day of Caring event is, uh, it's, as you said, it's a one, once uh, every year event where we look, with the, the main purpose of the event is to promote volunteerism in our community. So we recruit volunteers from different companies and corporations that are in Sheboygan County, and we ask them to donate a day of their day or a day of their life to uh, help others in Sheboygan County. Okay, so it's promoting volunteerism. Correct. Now, last year I know you had five sites. We had six sites. We had six sites and, and about 90 volunteers. And this year it's more than doubled, right? We've got 15 sites, so wow. it's more than doubled, and we have close to 200 volunteers this year. Oh, that's so terrific. And we're not just volunteering. I mean, well, tell me, first of all, what kind of work are people doing? What are some of the sites and what are the, the, the tasks? Okay, well, at the Girl Scout offices, we have a lot of painting going on, which will involve the mayor and his wife, Sue. 
and uh, also Maywood. They'll be uh, picking weeds and cleaning pathways. Um, let's see. The marsh. The marsh project. Yeah. That's yep. Great. The marsh out in uh, out in Elkhart Lake. We're working at the marsh. We're uh, doing some cleanup as well out there, moving some rocks that need to be moved. Uh, we're going to be at Sunnyside Townhouse, just doing a little bit of gardening as well, planting new plants, uh, doing some mulching, uh, the building at Partners for Community Development, doing some outside painting as well. Um, the weight yeah, house. What do you the think weight the house. In that weight house, they're actually, it's a, it's a really nice project. They're creating a new path for the, their carriages. Uh, so as Scott said, there's 14 different projects. There are four, you know, different projects for it, that to feed the interest of all the volunteers that we have this year and everyone has been just wonderful we uh, uh, especially want to thank the uh, collaboration and the sponsorship mm -hmm. of american orthodontics uh, in aurora aurora is actually our sponsor for the event for the second year in a row in uh in and also the united way of sheboygan county right. uh, they have also been uh, behind us and supporting us on, on this event and supporting the volunteer uh, center since the the beginning of, of the program and all of and all of our major sponsors have had people on our planning committee right. since december right. of last year so they've been very instrumental in helping organize this entire event mm -hmm. besides just providing monetary Funding. Tell me a bit about the response from the hosts of these sites. I was I had the privilege of working with you last year on yes, this event. Yes, you, you did. And I remember going to the little old school <coughs> house, and I think the minister, a mm -hmm. minister, was the host, and he actually broke down into tears. Yes. He was so grateful for the workers. Well, what have I, you been hearing? I think every one of these sites, the leaders at every one of these sites, are very grateful, mm -hmm. and we've not had to really push them to get organized. They are ready to to work these volunteers. Okay. They've been very very good. And they work hard. Yes, they do. <laughs> and okay, final. Tell me what's going on tonight at the end of all the activities. Uh, tonight, uh, at the end, well, at three o'clock, all the volunteers are gonna uh, finish their projects and then come back here to Kings Park, and we're gonna have a celebration of, of volunteering. And the event is also gonna help us raise funds for the Volunteer Center of Sheboygan County. So we're gonna have some music, free uh, life uh, entertainment. We're uh, having the Water Street Hot Shots playing tonight from four to uh, five thirty. Mm -hmm. And at 6 o'clock, from 6 to 8 o'clock, we have Benson on Clemmy Plain. Right. We also have a wonderful uh, pig roast uh, that's going to be grilled by three guys in a grill. They're already here. They've been here since 6 in the morning. These guys are amazing. Uh, so that's for sale uh, tonight as well. We also have raffles and silent right. auction items. We have almost 25 uh, raffle items mm -hmm. and almost 10 silent auction items. So there's a, a lot to be had there. What else is going on? Well, we just have a lot of fun. People are having a lot of fun today. Uh, they're giving back to their communities, um, learning a little bit more about the different organizations that are in the community. Uh, even us have been learning of new organizations such as the, uh, the Equine Sanctuary right. out in, uh, by uh, Kiel, so, or close to Elkhart Lake. So there's new organizations there that we didn't know of that we're gonna be able to help today with the help of these volunteers that are, mm -hmm. have come out today. And uh, just a word, now how's your chance to talk about your website, which is so exciting. That's a one-stop shop for people to find out how to volunteer, Yes, it's, right? uh, it's www.volunteersheboygan.com. Right. Volunteersheboygan.com. Even I can remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and you and can a, find out. And it's a very user-friendly site right. where people can find out the volunteering opportunities that exist within the county. Right Currently, right now, there's a, over 130 volunteer opportunities posted on the site. Wow, and people can great. go in there and uh, find something that fits their needs and interests okay. and talent. Okay, one last question. Is there going to be a third annual day of caring? Of course, of course. This is going to be our annual event, uh, and we hope that every every year it grows more and more and more. Um, hopefully we can double again next year, uh, <laughs> double the excitement and double the sites and double the volunteers. But yes, this is going to be a, 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 an, our annual event, and of course the Volunteer Center is here to stay. So we're now able to say and proud to say that, uh, that Sheboygan County has a volunteer center and it's working wonderful. Okay, so remember folks, volunteerism isn't just one day, it goes on the whole year, keeping Sheboygan County great. Go to volunteersheboygan.com and you will find out how you can help the community. Thank you.
sewer scrapers? Uh, they're running to get some. He was going to get some. Okay, so here we are at the Partners on 13th in Georgia, and I think we have a pretty, a fairly sizable crew from the Kohler Company right. spending a day here painting the building. And what is your name, please? My name is Luke Zimbrick. Luke Zimbrick. And what do you do at the Kohler Company? I'm an engineer. I work on bathing products. Okay, and this is, is this your first year of volunteering, or did you do it last year? This is my first year with the company volunteering. Yeah. And how come you're willing to do it? Uh, well, it's a nice change of pace. It gets me out of the office, and... Yeah. Uh, um, and I just get a good feeling from it, and especially working with these guys. Yeah. It's just a good time. Are they all from so, the same department? or not Most of us, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. And, so you're uh, a team. We are a team, yeah. And what specifically are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm getting the paint ready to go in the, the roller pans so we can okay. start painting the, the brick surface of the building. Um, we're going to do two colors today and hopefully get about 75% of the building painted for them. So. Wow, that'd be great, because I yeah. noticed first you're scraping off the old paint. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got a couple issues to cover first, but it'll look pretty good by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, that's super. I had a feeling. And then are you going to King Park later for the, the pig roast? Yep, I believe so. Yeah. That'll be great. Great yeah. music, Benson Clemmy. Oh, that's terrific. Looking forward to it. Yeah, super. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we're still at the Partners for Community Development Building on 13th in Georgia, and we're talking to another Kohler Company worker, and you are? Allison Blake. Allison Blake, and you're also an engineer? Yep. You are? You're yep. all sort of from the same department? Yeah, that's right, Bathing so. Engineering Group. And how come you're willing to do this today? Uh, it's just a great chance to get out in the community and help um, take care of our neighborhoods. So. Okay, and uh, are you a professional painter? By, <laughs> no, not at all. No, but you're willing to do it. It's going to be hard work. Yeah, it, it, it yeah, it might be, but uh, it's worth it, and it'll look really good when we're done. So. And I, I know from talking to other color people in previous years, the company really does encourage you to do this, don't they? Yeah, yeah, it's a great chance to get out of the office and do some team building, get to know our coworkers a little better while helping uh, the community out. So. Okay, super. Yeah. Thank you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Good Thank luck. You. So you're like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm actually like trimming up some of the bushes so that when oh. we come through here and paint, we'll, well be that able makes to sense. Uh, do that a little bit easier later. Okay. So. Okay. So yeah. Well, we're still going through the day of caring, and we are at the Wisconsin Naval Shipping Association. Close enough. Okay. <laughs> and we're talking to Larry Hinkleman, who is the executive director, right? Uh, president of the board right president. now. Okay. All right. So, and then he is watching all these people tearing up carpet. Phenomenal. That is hard work. I didn't expect them to get this far until noon. But really? Yeah. I mean, they were going to start in the middle section, and we had that planned for this afternoon already. So... I'm going to have to come up with other stuff, stuff for them to, to do. So they, they're tearing up all the carpet, and what else do you hope to have done today? That's my, my our biggest plan is to get all of this carpet that's been here forever okay. up because in a couple of months we're planning to have new carpet put down. So this would have been the hardest part. This is saving us weeks of work and dollars and cents. Yeah, really? So, and what is this big room going to be? This this. This is going to be the uh, part of the uh, Military Heritage Museum. Okay. We did have some displays, as you can tell. Right. We were open for a couple of weeks, and then with the dredging, we had to close. So we probably won't be open until, let's say, January, and that's why we want to get this done so we can do a lot of work on the interior. That's super. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is a, you know, just, we, just a great group. And what, where are these people from? Uh, the Aurora Healthcare they System. Are these are all okay. from Aurora, yeah. Okay, well, La a year ago, we, we were the recipient of about 17 people from different companies. Yeah. Yeah. Moving desks and landscaping, and yeah, yeah. It, was, it was terrific. Well, we're great. very, very happy for this. Yeah. Wow, wonderful. We're still at the Wisconsin Naval Shipping Association, and we're talking to Kathy Becker from Aurora. What do you do at Aurora? I'm the chief nurse officer. That's right. I think I talked to you last I year. I think you might have. <laughs> you did. So you are almost done tearing up all this carpeting. 
and you're you're done much sooner than Larry thought. And you just told me a minute ago why why that is. Well, and I think it, when Larry said uh, we have some work until noon, so everyone looked around and said noon. That's that's too soon. We'll be done at noon, and then what? So, but at Aurora, our workers work hard every day and overwork, and we get this type of intensity every day. They're good workers. They're uh, fast workers, and they're dedicated and motivated. And obviously, they're do dedicated to their community by yeah. coming up in work in today. So. And how nice of Aurora to loan you. Absolutely. Aurora is a very, very uh, good partner with the community. They, they really try to make things happen and improve the community. So. And how many are from Aurora today? Wow. Oh, I know you I, have other wow, sites. Too. We do. I don't know the total number, okay. but there is a lot of us, and we do this every year. It's it's amazing uh, the dedication. And you, are you all in the same department, or not? No, necessarily? different sites, okay. different departments. The clinic, the hospital. We're from many different areas. Um, uh, facilities, clinic. There's nurses here. There's uh, on and on and on. Lots of people. PTs, and that's physical therapists. Right. Yeah. That so, <laughs> Phil and why are you personally willing to work here today? Well, when I How do you get out of it? I came here a year ago, and I am amazed at Sheboygan and the community that it surrounds us. It's it's everywhere you go, people are friendly, kind, caring. Uh, they help each other. Um, I come from Milwaukee, a big city, so this in comparison is amazing. I'm very very impressed. This is the best kept secret right up here in Sheboygan. I'll tell you that much. Great, thank you. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. I see you putting your gloves on. I do. I have my gloves on. They match right. my shirt. I'm ready to go. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck. Well, we are in my favorite place because I'm a librarian, so I'm just delighted to be here. And it's so great that Mead Public Library could be part of the Day of Caring. Oh, yes, it's a wonderful opportunity for us. We're with Sharon Winkle, the director of the library. And why is it wonderful for you? Well, we are trying to encourage more people in the community to think about the library when they think about volunteering their time. Mm -hmm. It can really help um, keep customer service levels yeah. where we'd like them to be. Uh, these can be challenging times in which to achieve that. And we think it's a wonderful opportunity for people who might need to volunteer indoors and mm -hmm. who enjoy uh, being around books and a lot of other people who also enjoy that same environment opportunities for um, working with technology as well in libraries and I know a lot of people are interested in that both our customers and people who might be volunteering here. So what would a volunteer do if she wanted she or he wanted to work with technology? Well for example uh, there'd be an opportunity to show people how to download materials oh, okay. from the overdrive service right. that oh, we yeah. have the that e includes ebooks mm -hmm. and e-audio books. Mm -hmm. Many people like some hands-on assistance with that and we do from time to time offer that, but we could offer those opportunities more often if we had more people to do it, augmented by volunteers, in addition to staff members. So are you also listed on the volunteersheboygan.com Yes, site? we Go are. Ahead. Our volunteer coordinator, Pat Miller, has uh, made sure that we join that organization and that we get the word out about volunteer opportunities at various websites, including our own website. Okay. So if people want, do want to volunteer for the library, they should go to that website or call Pat. Right, or they can check www.meadpubliclibrary.org and look at the volunteer information available there. Okay, super. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Still at the library, and we have four volunteers from the Sheboygan Senior Center who are spending the day shifting books and maybe dusting a few off. Um, why don't you tell us, for first of all, give us your name, please. Jeff Brader. And, and you're a volunteer for the Sheboygan Senior Center. For the Senior Center, right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, and what are you doing? Actually, we're taking these shelves and we're rearranging them so that we can get some of them off the top shelf. They found that everything at eye level or right. in between so that you don't have to reach so high. It's hard to reach up hard there. Hard to reach up there, mm -hmm. so we're shifting them around, getting them even, and putting them in the, and then dusting off the shelf after we get done. So, You know, a there's a stereotype about seniors I mean, normally most people would think seniors, oh, you should be receiving, you should be on the receiving end of volunteerism, but no, no, there's no some not really, no, we've got a group of volunteers down at the senior center that, uh, I mean, it's, it's an extensive group, and uh, we found that, I mean, to stay active when you, when you get to be retirement age, and to help out the community at the same time, I think there's a new shift in attitude, and uh, we're enjoying it, we have a great time, we have a wonderful bunch of people down there, and uh, it's a great place to visit, a great place to have activity. Plenty That's of good things. So yeah. not enough people know about it. That's exactly right. I mean, the more people that find out about it, and, and uh, all of us down there try to bring as many people in down there as we can, 
and show them what we have, and uh, it's a great and do place. Do you have a variety of things that people can do to volunteer? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, we got, you can volunteer for any number of things. Uh, we just did a project a while, about a couple months ago at the at the Reup Center, and uh, we did some packaging, oh, uh, oh, packaged screws right. and, and um, nuts and bolts for them, and uh, we had a great time. There were about uh, 10 to 12 of us every week on a Friday, and oh, uh, did that for about eight or nine weeks, and uh, had a great time. And do you like being in the library today? I love having being in the I, library. I would, but yeah, you not bet. everybody does. Well, my daughter's a, a librarian well, out in she... North Carolina, so okay. uh, we're kind of giving back a little bit to her, too. So Okay, and maybe yeah. you'll see some books you want to take home today. Well, like that, too, and I'm trying to read her four or five while I go down the line here. <laughs> <laughs> we are this morning with Pat Miller, who is the volunteer coordinator at Mead Public Library, and you're the person responsible f uh, for getting the volunteers here today. Is that right? Yes, yes. We're um, so pleased that we were um, you know, picked to be in, in this program. You had, Yeah, I don't know how that comes about, how they pick the programs, but... But you, I know you were involved last year, but this year you're right, one of the right. 15 sites. My, my impression is, is that every year it changes a little bit, okay. you know, and so that um, they're volunteering in the community um, everywhere. Okay. So we have four people from the Sheboygan Senior Center. Yes. Their assignment today is to, um, in sections of our library, shift our books. So it's a pretty big job. It's physical, yeah. I think. And um, we've removed some of the books and making room for new ones. Okay. And it's important work that has to be done, as he was yes. saying, because people can't reach those top shelves. So it's good to lower them. Right, and and also to add new books. It's so that they don't get too tight and um, to make them in order. And plus we gave our volunteers dust rags today. Uh, <laughs> so they're going to help out there too. <laughs> and this is, as Sharon told us a few minutes ago, this is becoming increasingly important for public institutions such as libraries because of budget cuts. Does it really make a difference? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We, um, you know, we have ongoing volunteers here, and we have um, volunteers who um, come in just for special projects, such as Day of Caring. Mm -hmm. um, recently, we had the Kohler Company and their amazing race, and hope to have them back again. I think that's something that they're going to repeat. So we're very happy to be in the Day of Caring. So if someone is interested in volunteering at Mead Public Library, they can contact you. Yes. Or they could go to the website. Yes, it's on our website, and the um, application form is at each of our desks that they can be picked up. Um, I can be called, um, any of or us. Or they can go to the volunteershiboygan.com yes, website. Yes, yes, we are partnered and members of the volunteer um, center. How many volunteers do you think are involved in the library right now on an ongoing basis? Uh, right now we have um, about 40. Okay, and your job is to keep them all in line. Right, and um, it's actually a new position here at the library. So, um, you know, and the intention is also to grow the program. Okay. And, and you are a volunteer, too, I believe, right? I am. So I am. how I'm come a, you're willing to spend so much time? I'm a time? Sheboygan Volunteer Center uh, volunteer, and I've been doing that for about a year and a half. And um, my specialty in that is to do special events. So I've um, bartended badly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, people help me. They've been very okay. kind. And... Um, you know, take tickets and money and okay. that sort of thing and registration and so for you, I day of it. caring is every day. So okay, and what is your name, please? My name is Cindy Breger. Okay, hi, Cindy. Oh, we just met your husband. I yes, think. Okay, yes, great. that was so my you're, husband. You're both volunteering today. Yes. You're both representing the Sheboygan Senior Center. Right. And are you a volunteer, active volunteer in other things too? Yes, I volunteer a lot through the center and at the center. Um, I do a lot of help with children's reading, uh, children that are struggling in oh, the lower really? grades. I try to help them catch up. And, and why are you doing this? A lot of people would say that a senior citizen at this point in your life should be receiving volunteers. Oh, no. I believe in giving back to your community, to your mm -hmm. church, to your family, to your friends, because what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. You never know when you're going to need help, and then those people will always come back to you. Uh, that's a nice way to put it. Is this your first day of caring? Yes, this is my first time of doing Caring Day, and uh, I just think it's fabulous. Um, I didn't know about it until they told me about it at the center, and I just think it's wonderful. I just think if every church would have a Caring Day mm -hmm. and help somebody in their congregation who maybe needed their house painted inside or their lawn 
mode or something. So not just organizations, yeah. but spreading out. Spreading out. Who need help. Right. Shut-ins and things. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. Next, uh, maybe next year. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. The clocks are ticking. <laughs> Do you like working in the library? Yes. This is fun. I love books. So yes. Yes. So this is a great opportunity. Although I've caught myself uh, reading the blurbs right. on the yeah. book at that time. Yeah. Like so, yes. So. Well, super. So. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Good luck. How great that you guys do this. Where do you work with the children? Um, I have a private tutoring job this summer that I got through um, the senior center. Oh, you did? Yes. Mm -hmm. About during the school year, I work two and a half hours a day at Longfellow as a playground cafeteria really? supervisor. Yes. I was a nurse for 40 years. You were, years. I was going to ask what your yeah. career was. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, that it, it got too much with the lifting and stuff. Right. So there's always things that fit in to that career someplace. And you like working with kids? I love kids. Oh, that's super. Yeah. That's great. They're that's just this is so precious. Yes, and there's are. so many that just need that little bit of extra love. Right. <laughs> The gorgeous children's garden. We've got two volunteers here. And can I have your names, please? Uh, Jane. Jane. And Bob. Bob. And you are And who are you representing today? Retired folks. Okay. <laughs> so you're not with one of the, the employers. No, no. no. You're just no. here, just here. And how's your day going so far? It's uh, beautiful. Hard work. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing here? Digging holes and filling them up. <laughs> Planting like trees and bushes today. Yeah, planting trees and bushes. <laughs> planting trees and bushes. Yes. And, you, and you're with the Children's Museum, I'm with the right? Children's Museum. Okay, right. what is your name? I named David Peterman. David Peterman. Yeah. And your title? You're the... I'm basically kind of an uh, art director around okay. here, but I do maintenance work and, uh, and, and the garden. gardening, of okay. course. So, <laughs> sort so. of wherever they need my help. So does this make a difference, having volunteers here um, today? Absolutely. Otherwise, I have to do all this myself. <laughs> <laughs> So anytime we can uh, get some volunteers to help, it always makes things a little smoother, getting things done a little quicker. So absolutely, uh, more volunteers we can get around here, the better. Above and beyond is always a need of volunteers, always. not just on the day of caring, right? Right. So every, every day we could use volunteers and we do uh, weekend events like rat days coming up and things like that. So. There's always help needed when we do events. Uh, we do have to staff people here while we're also somewhere else. If someone is interested in volunteering, how would they do that? Uh, they would have to contact uh, one of the other staff people within the museum, okay. generally uh, Cindy or Jeff Mann, the executive okay. director, would help them out. And they might work in the garden or they might do other things? Right. We have some volunteers inside doing some painting and working on another wall that we have to remove some hands from a few earlier projects so we can get it ready for a new project. Okay. And why are you willing to spend a whole day out here working? You could be <laughs> lying on a hammock or something. <laughs> Seems like a good thing to do with our time. I okay. Yeah. I, that, that's it. We uh, had bought tickets for the dinner tonight and okay. said, well, if we're going to go to the dinner, we should probably work during the day. So, oh, how great. So called up and this is where they found for us. So you'd be lying out. the stereotype of senior citizens who are just relaxing. You're you're like out there. Uh, I'm yes. not sure that that's the stereotype I would agree with. Not anymore. Okay, <laughs> not good. Anymore. That's good. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. So you're going to the pig roast and you're looking forward oh, yeah. to that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That's super. Well, it's our reward you. for this, right? We'll, yeah. we'll be ready for the pig you've roast. Got, you've got <laughs> sunscreen on, I hope. Uh, uh, I don't know. You probably should. <laughs> Well, we're out here at the Girl Scout House out on Highway 42. We're doing some painting uh, for the Day of Caring. And we have with us Jennifer, Maggie, Crystal, Jessica, Rosa, Jewelry, Sue. And what group are you f folks with? A lot of you are from the same area. We're from HSA Bank. HSA Bank in Sheboygan. Yes. And Megan, you're, Maggie, you're from? Uh, AmeriCorps. Oh, so we we got a great crew here. We're we're uh, about half done with our work already this morning, and my wife Sue and I are are happy to be here. Um, and this is a great organization. So we're going to get back to work.
folks that you might need to know. This is George Reynolds and he's going to do all the mandolin chores for you here this afternoon. Say hello to him. My name is Mike. This is Tim Decker. He's going to do all the fiddle work for you this afternoon. And over here playing the big fiddle, the stand-up bass, Alan the Doc Mock right there. Thank you to be here. Enjoy yourself. Let's start out with a piece called The Walking Blues. This is from Sun House, Robert Johnson.
school looking around for my shirt. You can tell by that when I get the tool. Walking through the well, walking down the this morning, I'm going to look around for my shirt. You can tell by that when I get the tool. Down on my knee, let me tell you all about it. Treat me well, come here, baby, watch me. Sit down on my knee. appreciate that. That makes us play better. We do a piece here called I Know You're Right. I'm going to start with a little instrumental that I call Whitefish and Kerosene. I used to play this a lot when I lived up in Door County and uh, played for the fish boils as people were enjoying their wine coolers. It's a while ago. It's a while ago. You remember wine coolers, don't you? It's a little hazy. Fuzzy there. Good, can I get just a little bit more of this one in the monitor here for me? Wandering like wild geese in the wet. 
We'd like to thank you all for coming to the uh, Sheboygan Volunteer, Sheboygan County Volunteer Center's second annual day of caring. Um, it's a really, really huge and amazing event. They had 180 volunteers working from 8 o'clock till 3 o'clock this morning at 14 different locations, giving their time and their effort. And then, of course, from Street 8, they get to kick back, party it up a little bit, and celebrate. Um, for doing that. Also, it's a fundraiser. I know they've got some raffles and things going on, so please take part of that. But thank you all for being here.
it just got a little bit rowdier. All right, this next song we're going to do, for those of you who don't know us, we're Ben and Clemmy. Um, we got our name from that guy. That's Ben Clemmy right there. Um, and almost all the music you're going to hear tonight, with the exception of my two songs, is all original music that we've written ourselves over the past six years. So, um, the next song that we're going to do is actually the very first song that we ever wrote, and this is how we got started doing this. This one's called Roses and Kings. Was it something that I said? Was it something that I did last night? Made you wanna run from me? Made you wanna hide? Can you tell me it's something I can change? Is it something you can now overlook? If I see the shrink, or at least by his book, will you come back to me? Do I keep on the truth? 